Hello, 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 and welcome to the giveaway info section of the video. If you'll take a look at your screen, you'll see exactly what we're giving away on this video. And no, this is definitely not pre-recorded. All you have to do is to like the video, comment your in-game name, and subscribe to the channel, and you are good to go. And with that being said, let's get started. After completing Tier 5 Soul Rod, the main thing I wanted to focus on was achievements I thought I'd have a real problem with, and the main one I was concerned about was the 100 Mewtwo KC. So I spent the next week or so doing nothing but Pokemon Slayer, and we ended up getting about 40 tickets for our first stream. And from those 40 tickets, we did end up pulling one drop that I guess you could say I was pretty excited about. And for good reason. Oh! No! I'm sorry. Oh, I yelled. God! Ah! I don't care. Look at the staff! Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so happy, dude. Did you see this? <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> On the iron as well. You're right, Lotto. On the iron, dude. <laughs> yes, sir, dude. Sign me up for some spoonage. <clears throat> For those of you that don't know, the Psychic Staff is the strongest mage weapon in the game, boasting a 300 mage attack bonus and a 350% magic damage percentage. It is only obtainable via deluxe boxes or Necro Mewtwo, and for us to have hit the staff out of any other piece on this table was so ridiculously lucky, I, I, I don't know, bro. It is roughly 1 in 50 for any piece of Psychic, but it is 1 in 204 to get one specific piece of Psychic. So for us to get the one piece that we really, really wanted is absolutely bonkers, dude. And I mean, come on, it's a giant spoon, dude. Look in my eyes and tell me the staff doesn't fit in my hand like a glove. That doesn't, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, you know what I mean. We ended up streaming Mewtwo again a few days later with a fistful of tickets, and you'll never believe it, but we ended up getting another piece. If I get a double psychic drop, I'll shoot your pants. I won't shoot my pants, I'll shoot your pants, dude. <gasps> okay. Bro! That's a duplicate, but that's money in the bank, boys! I'm actually super bummed that's a dupe, I'm not gonna lie. Now, I wasn't incredibly happy that it was a duplicate, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I ended up selling the staff for about 20 billion GP and treated myself to about $225 in scrolls, so mwah, cannot complain. Well, 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 I just bought somebody's psychic set for 30 bill because he wanted to dump it quickly. To put that in perspective, a psychic set is probably around 40 to 50 bill, so I just made a killing, dude. And you know what that means? That means we have to make a PVM alt to actually use the psychic set on because why not? We may as well, right? And of course, we've got to make it a challenge mode, but we are making it standard so it can participate in the economy things. Econom econ econ economy? Ooh, economy! It's going to be a long time until I can actually take part in the festivities, but you have not heard the last of this account, and you will hear more from it very, very soon. Ew, stop following me. <laughs> this is what we're starting with, fellas. First things first, the very, very first thing we need to do is we need to get 80 magic and 70 defense so we can actually put the set on. But that's a worry for the future. Right now, bro, I'm just in the AFK zone. Let, let, let me, let me, let me cook. And just like that, we are Capone ready on the brand new account in less than one day's game time, bro. Holy crap. These are the stats. We ended up getting 99 defense, 99 magic, and 77 prayer, along with 60 invention to get into the Clockwork uh, Coliseum. Again, in less than one day's game time, we are ready to farm the best invention zone available to us. That is insane, dude. Now I think it's time we test this account's luck with some uh, Capone.
This is a very, very important vote boss kill, fellas, because once we claim this ticket from said vote boss, we have now officially finished every single achievement available to us, dude. Holy crap. That's right. Every single achievement, boys. We are done. Collect my 10 tickets and, ugh, dude, that just looks so good. Achievements fully completed? Check. Full tier 5 Solrot? Check. And max stats? Check. In terms of comping this account, I think we've done pretty much literally everything we have available to us right now. There's not an actual comp cape in the game yet, but as soon as it's added, I'm sure they'll add a few more requirements. So until then, I, I guess I'm just going to be farming GP and maybe doing new content as it comes. Huh. Not going to lie. It feels kind of good to be at this point. Now I can just kind of farm the game, dude. <laughs> I got the pet! Yo! Oh my god, that is a cool pet, man. I did not expect that. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Just a cheeky little 1 in 1100 from a boss I can kill five times a day, dude. And it's my new best pet in my bank. Something very exciting is happening on Rune Saga as of late, and that would be the opening of the Rune Saga Casino. Guarded by these two handsome fellas in the back. <clears throat> Sorry. But this isn't like any casino you've ever seen, fellas, and let me show you exactly why. In order to take part in the festivities, you will need to exchange either your scrolls or your platinum tokens for casino chips or VIP chips. The conversion rate is one casino chip per one platinum token and 10 VIP chips per $1. Once you've got the appropriate tokens, take your pick on how you want to spend them. We've got slots, fully functioning roulette with multiple ways to play, and of course for your average Joes, we also have the flower lanes. My god, look at those stats. These are the payouts for the slot machines. You will get paid for both two of a kind and three of a kind, which I'm not gonna lie is the only reason I keep coming to these things because if it were just three of a kind, I would have almost zero interest. What do you think, like a hundred mil pool? And bada bing! Womp womp, okay, fine. I think it's time to head to my favorite swamp and that would be the roulette wheel, dude. Let's do 380 mil on black. Absolutely, dude. All right, here we go, big shmoney. Oh, okay, of course. <laughs> of course, dude. Let's do one more bet real quick. I'm feeling pretty lucky. 500 mil on black again. I'm feeling it, dude. Give me my money. All right, Mr. Krabs. I'm feeling it, dude. 500 mil on black. We're back, boys! <laughs> Surely we don't do one billion on black, dude? This is so stupid. Why did I do that? <laughs> Two, one, one billion on black, dude. Come on, double me up. Please! Yes! Oh my god! Dude! <laughs> I love roulette, man. Oh my goodness. That is the easiest one bill of my life. How could I forget to showcase the most important part of the casino, which would be the first working TV screen in all of RSPS history, bro? Everybody's like, oh my god, it's like the first real casino. No, bro, it's the first real plasma screen TV, dog. Making history. <laughs> Oh my god, making history, one update at a time. <laughs> For now, it is only open during the weekend, so people have the week to recoup their losses if they end up losing. So whether you're a casual FPer or a slot addict, there is definitely something here for you on Rune Saga, fellas. Come on down, man, give it a shot. Make some sh money, brother. Also, that is going to end this video. I know it was kind of a weird one, but the next upload is going to be huge with enormous updates that have happened recently. Blah, blah, blah. So as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is to like the video, comment your in-game name, and subscribe to the channel, and you are good to go. And with that being said, I will see you gorgeous bastards in the next one. Hey Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your short hair. Do you even care? You got a bad attitude, mix it with a bunch of dudes and
you're left with is a menacing stare Watch that taste out your mouth, little princess How you gonna tell me that your life is worth